BPI Smart Burn Supplement Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Smart Burn by the house of BPI. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I have very, very bad reactions to artificial colors and this brand BPI, almost every single one of their products contains no artificial colors. This is a pretty medium level product. It's not something that has tons of advertising. It's not something that's extremely expensive, but it contains some pretty good ingredients at some pretty good doses and provides a pretty pretty decent effect. So not that many ingredients, it's gonna be pretty easy to go through. Niacin, now it's this nicotic acid. I don't know if it's a special version of niacin or if it feels better, but essentially just a B vitamin in a very normal dose of 188% of the daily value. Then you got this Smart Burn Complex, which is kind of like the main blend here, which basically seems just like a few forms of mainly carnitine. And most of the time when you're looking for carnitine or for a dose for fat loss, usually it's about one gram maybe a hair more, but I've taken carnitine supplements and usually about a gram, maybe a little bit over a gram, you just start sweating. Now that's what the carnitine is supposed to do. It's nice to get in that blend of you can slightly sweat, but you're not just dumping sweat. It is kind of weird when you take so much that you're just dumping sweat. It's kind of bizarre, you feel a little hot. Carnitine is pretty much the number one natural fat loss thing that I'm looking for. Like if I see a supplement that's aimed towards fat loss, I'm looking for carnitine and I'm looking for it to be about a gram. We don't know how much they put in here, but the whole blend is 2.5 grams and they have carnitine, betaine, and hydrous, which is interesting because I think betaine and hydrous is supposed to increase your strength. Some people said betaine and hydrous just messes with your breath and gives you bad breath. I think I'm not 100% sure. Other people claim that it is supposed to increase your strength. So you essentially have carnitine mixed with betaine and hydrous. L-carnitine tartrate, very, very famous version of carnitine. Usually it's a little bit cheaper and it is mixed with the tartrate. So it's not 100% L-carnitine. Then you have this glycine propionol L-carnitine. So basically just another version of carnitine. I've honestly never heard of that. I know that glycine is supposed to be good for you. I think it's supposed to increase water to your muscles and I think your brain. And then you have uh, CLA, which from my understanding is just kind of like, I think it's a good kind of fat and it also aids in fat burning. And sometimes when you take some sort of fat in a blend, it can slow down the digestion process a little bit, have a little bit more extended release on certain products. I don't know if that's why they did that. Then you have this green tea extract at 50% polyphenols. Now, it always interests me when you have caffeine in a product and then you have green tea and then the green tea doesn't have caffeine. I always thought green tea did have caffeine and I've always heard, I guess, that it helps weight loss. I would think the things that help weight loss are the caffeine, but maybe there is something else in green tea that helps with weight loss. I will definitely put it on screen if so. And then you have caffeine and hydrous at 150 milligrams, a very, very modest dose. I think that's the only version of caffeine in here. Maybe there is a little bit in that green tea. So they say it's about as much as two cups of coffee. I usually consider a cup of coffee about 100 milligrams to me personally. So I would say it's about 200 milligrams, but you also have this theobromine. Now theobromine is a supplement that I've never actually tried on its own. I think you get it mainly from cocoa or chocolate and it's supposed to have this extra brain boosting effect. And I think it's supposed to be somewhat similar to caffeine, but from my understanding, maybe a little bit more of a mood boost, I'm not sure. There was a company called Bulk Stimulants that basically lets me try any stimulant for review. And at one point they did have theobromine, but they said nobody bought it, so they stopped selling it all completely. So I've never tried theobromine by itself, but every time that it's been in a blend, I've really enjoyed the feeling that that blend has. And then the last thing we got here is Dynamine. And I think this is like a perfect dose of it. I just did a review explaining my thoughts on certain nootropics and dynamine is an interesting compound. To me, it feels very, very similar to caffeine. It's very rushy. If I'm having a peak dose of caffeine and I take dynamine, I'm just gonna straight get anxiety. If I'm gonna have caffeine and dynamine at once, I need kind of like a medium dose. And this is perfect. I mean, 150 milligrams of caffeine, perfect, like a medium dose for like one of these products. And then you have 50 milligrams of dynamine. So the dynamine to me is already gonna feel like caffeine. 
caffeine, so mine as well have about 200 milligrams of caffeine for me personally. This taste is pretty good. I ordered three of these on eBay. It was like a really, really good deal. These I think are about maybe 20, 25 bucks. Very, very affordable on eBay. And I was worried that this flavor was gonna be like Skittles because I absolutely hate artificial Skittles flavors. Like I like the normal Skittles. I can't have them because they have artificial colors in them, but for the taste of them, I love normal Skittles. The fake Skittle drinks, I can't stand them. So this was actually a pretty nice tasting product, but I will say what sucks about teacrine and dynamine so much is that they're just these next level stimulants that are so similar to caffeine in feeling, but they just taste so bad. Like I don't understand why caffeine is tasteless, but you get teacrine, it ruins the drink. And then you have this in here and there's times where I can taste the dynamine. Man, it's just so bitter and bad. But at the same time, they used a good dose of only 50 milligrams, any more of this or teacrine, and it would have been too much. Anyways, guys, I think this is a really good mid level product. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is that it has those artificial flavors. But again, they cut out the artificial colors. So it's like, I'm happy that they did that. If you're somebody who doesn't want to spend too much money, you want a good fat burner and you want it to taste pretty good. I definitely recommend this product. And I love BPI because they don't do those colors. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Smart Burn. Let me know what you think of BPI. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.